Warning, the video you are about to watch is not real. Let me tell you about my friend, Joe Biden. Because we cannot get re-elect, cannot win this re-election, we can only re-elect Donald Trump. According to a story by the Washington Post, AI technology is good enough to be the president. And everyone beware, because they're not going to stop. It is going to, they're not going to stop before election day in November, and they're not going to stop after election. But the robot's faulty display of authenticity comes across as fake and weird and not very genuine. Joe is a man who learned to treat every person he meets with respect and dignity. <laughs> Back, living by the words his parents taught. No one's better than you, Joe. But you're better than nobody. Dignity. AI can now create the most realistic lifelike renderings that you can't discern from reality. So tell me about Joe. And your relationship with Joe and what do I need to know? Like, what's the thing about the ice cream? Ice cream. Tell me about that. Good morning. Ah. Oh no, the ratings are dropping. Quickly, say something relatable. And I'd be walking right. by and <laughs> women be looking what? why is this? Keep it and help you to keep it real. I have Pokemon go to the polls. But how can you trust anything anymore? And there's growing concern that in the wrong hands, this technology can pose a very real national security threat. Could impact the 2020 election. Could become a real and present danger to our democracy. This, this is, is extremely, extremely dangerous, dangerous to our democracy. Do you have like a playlist that, that you're working on? I've got, my, I've got my playlist. You know, I love some Mary J. Blige. Donald Trump is destroying our country. And President Trump and Poo Poo's stinky baby head dumb orange Cheeto idiot. President Trump is often accused of acting like a baby. You're not gonna raise that f***ing price. You Seven billion f***ing dollars in the bank. What? What? It starts with voting against Joe Biden. I don't care what they say. Um, and, and also, you know what, I really also... It, it, it is your obligation, if you have a vagina, to get this racist, sexist, pussy grabber out. Say this with me. We choose... Hide the money, y'all. There are poor people around. <laughs> Put your hands up for four more years, y'all. Disappointed? Yes, I'm disappointed. Let every mansplainer and manspreader be damned as they are the worst threat to democracy. This is, this is extremely, extremely dangerous, dangerous to our democracy. The FBI is fighting a fire of racist violence. The president is using a fire hose to spray gasoline on that fire. Spraying gasoline on the fires of hatred. Spraying gasoline with a fire hose. Please welcome Katy Perry. I have a voice. <laughs> and unfortunately, I don't have a formal education. But I do have an open mind. Climate change and by what's being called Climate Gate, a string of hacked private emails between global climate change scientists in the U.S. and Europe. The emails seem to show that some of the world's top experts decided to exclude or manipulate some research. An email from 1999 shows scientists worked hard to demonstrate an upward trend. They talk of using a trick to hide the decline in global temperatures. It worked like this. When temperature readings gathered from studying tree rings showed what looked like a decline in temperatures from the 1980s to the present, the scientists added in measurements taken later by more modern instruments, which gave them the answer they wanted. COVID. Well, we are opposed around the world by a monolithic and ruthless conspiracy that relies primarily on covet means. I've always felt the nine most terrifying words in the English language are, I'm from the government and I'm here to help. <laughs> Unfolding pandemic. The board is comprised of highly experienced leaders from business, public health, and civil society. We could be looking at double the number of cases in one week and 16 times as many in a month. 16 times the detail. If we are not able to stop the spread. A new coronavirus spread silently within her. Infected people got a respiratory illness with symptoms ranging from mild flu-like signs to severe pneumonia. The sickest required intensive care, many died. 
experts agree unless it is quickly controlled, it could lead to a severe pandemic, an outbreak that circles the globe and affects people everywhere. 2010, Scenarios for the Future of Technology and International Development by the Rockefeller Foundation and Global Business Network, Peter Schwartz. The lockstep scenario, a world of tighter top-down government control and more authoritarian leadership. Even the most pandemic-prepared nations were quickly overwhelmed when the virus streaked around the world. The Chinese government's quick imposition and enforcement of mandatory quarantine for all citizens, as well as its instant and near-hermetic sealing off of all borders, saved millions of lives, stopping the spread of the virus far earlier than in other countries and enabling a swifter post-pandemic recovery. Public health agencies have issued travel advisories, while some countries have banned travel from the worst affected areas. China's government was not the only one that took extreme measures to protect its citizens from risk and exposure. During the pandemic, national leaders around the world flexed their authority and imposed airtight rules and restrictions, from the mandatory wearing of face masks to body temperature checks at the entries to communal spaces like train stations and supermarkets. We must treat this uh, new world order, new, this new world of COVID, we must treat this new world of COVID, even in our own homes, with a high level of care and caution. Even after the pandemic faded, this more authoritarian control and oversight of citizens and their activities stuck and even intensified. In order to protect themselves from the spread of increasingly global problems from pandemics and transnational terrorism to environmental crises and rising poverty leaders around the world took a firmer grip on power. At first, the notion of a more controlled world gained wide acceptance and approval. Citizens willingly gave up some of their sovereignty and their privacy to more paternalistic states in exchange for greater safety and stability. In developed countries, this heightened oversight took many forms. Biometric IDs for all citizens. ID2020 is a global strategic initiative of legal identity for all. There are 1.5 billion people in the world who don't have a legal identity. No legal identity means no bank account. It matters to society as a whole. It's incumbent upon those that can to serve those that can't. Top-down authority took different forms in different countries, hinging largely on the capacity, calibre, and intentions of their leaders. Why, 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 why? The government, in some cases, you know, has access to things that are even more sensitive mm -hmm. you know, because of their role in, in, in health care. People seem to be growing weary of so much top-down control and letting leaders and authorities make choices for them. Show me where it says that protests are supposed to be polite. I just don't even know why there aren't uprisings all over the country. As disaffected youth and people who had seen their status and opportunities slip away incited civil unrest. <laughs> that sooner or later, something would inevitably upset the neat order that the world's governments had worked so hard to establish. March 26, 1946. Harry S. Truman signed Executive Order 9708, which gave the federal government power to make and enforce regulations to prevent the introduction, transmission, or spread of communicable diseases. This included apprehension, detention, and conditional release of suspected diseased individuals. April 1, 2005, George W. Bush signs Executive Order 13375, which adds to the list of communicable diseases, influenza caused by novel or reemergent influenza viruses that are causing or have the potential to cause a pandemic. July 31, 2014. Bobo Obongo signs Executive Order 1367 and changes George Bush's flu entry to diseases that are associated with fever and signs and symptoms of pneumonia or other respiratory illness are capable of being transmitted from person to person and that either are causing or have the potential to cause a pandemic. November 4, 2016, four days before Doolin Drumpf was to win the 2016 presidential election, Boo Boo Obunga signs Executive Order 13747, advancing the global health security agenda to achieve a world safe and secure from infectious disease threat.
The roles, responsibilities, and activities described in this order will support the goals of the International Health Regulations, conducting in coordination with the World Health Organization. GHSA action packages are initiatives to implement the International Health Regulations. These regulations are handed down in the form of recommendations from the World Health Organization, giving governments the power to quarantine, refuse entry of, implement contact tracing, isolate, require vaccines and place into medical observation any individual it deems necessary. So, are we, as a global community, now finally ready to do the hard work needed to prepare for the next pandemic? Systemic racism. I have a What's your thought on, on Black Lives Matter? What is it? What, what do you mean? I am a young, black, rich If that don't let you know that America understand Black Matter these days, I don't know what it is. Don't come at me with that dumb man. And inequality. The Pledge of Allegiance to the New World Order. Our values, everything we care about, how much is at stake. But the most pressing daily threat of deepfakes isn't politics. You know, the digital human has really arrived. In the biggest moment from last night's Billboard Music Awards, Michael Jackson taking the stage. Elvis is back, and this time he's running for President 2020. <laughs> He's going to beat the orange man and stop the baddies from jumping the border. Thank you very much. A new Elvis 2020 and a new world America. The new and improved America is only one Elvis away. With Elvis 2 2020 orange man's very bad. Welcome to the Jizzy Dipper YouTube channel.